I'm in this South Asian a cappella group. I'm a singer. Sundar is part of the big culture of South Asian dance, Bollywood dance, and he's the tallest guy. So I'd seen him before on stage, but I had never been around him before. College was ending and I hadn't dated anyone to that point because I was so involved in, in you know, student organizations. That last week of college, that was the furthest thing from my mind. I just wanted to really enjoy and appreciate those, those few days with my friends. I see Sundar in person in our group of friends. Like he's just there and he's so joyful and bubbly and nice and a great dancer and beautiful. Like he was so Sundar. It's strange. I don't know what came over me, but I, I just went up to my friend Deepak and I was like, who is that guy? I knew who he was, but I was just like, who is he? And is he single? And Deepak came up and said, Anu's into you? Are you into her? And I was like, okay, let's go get a drink. And I just could not stop staring. <laughs> I like abandoned my friends. I didn't know where they went and we talked in the middle of all this noise. We somehow just connected, and I really don't remember, I know it's cheesy, but I don't remember what was happening around us. I was just so focused on Sundar. The next day, I spent two hours crafting, I didn't have his phone number. I spent two hours crafting a Facebook message just to ask him what he was doing that night. I think the first message was like, are you going to Rick's tonight, which is a place on campus? And we go that night, and for some reason, the timing doesn't work out. I miss Sundar, and I had been like grumbling all night, thinking like, I never liked anybody, ever. And now I like somebody, and he's graduating. And I couldn't meet and double down on whatever we had, chemistry we built the previous night. I miss my chance. Will I ever find somebody again? And then we leave to go back home, and Sundar and I quite literally bump into each other. I literally ran into her as I left. And he's like, we're going back to Deepak's place, like 10 of us. And he's like, you should just come with us. So me and Arushi go, and we meet with Sundar, and it's just me and Sundar the whole time. And then everyone's getting up to leave, and so I stand up. And all these nice guys, they get up, they're like, oh no, it's too late for you to walk home alone. Let me call you a car. Let me call you an Uber. And so there was the only boy who was like, let me walk you home. We walked home and we sat in my apartment and we stay up and we just laugh and talk in my apartment till seven in the morning. And then again, you know, kind of just walking home and thinking, wow, that was an amazing conversation. I feel like I really know her and I want to know so much more about her, but I'm leaving in two days, so who knows? And then the next day he graduated and I didn't think I was gonna see him again. Three weeks later, Sundar now found the courage to message me. It took me two hours to message him, it took him three weeks. And from that point onwards, we just talked every day. Now the rhythm. There's just this, this magnetism to, to her personality and to the way she carries herself. And I am so in awe of it. If she's happy, like that, that's all that I care about. And her, her happiness and her success means so much to me. It's 
just been a relationship of one of us gets to shine and the other one is so happy to be holding the spotlight and then we switch off. It's been like both of us gets to be the star when we need to be and the other one accommodates.